What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today, we're going to learn 12 synonyms to replace the best. So, instead of saying that something is the best in the world, today, I'm gonna give you 12 alternatives. Are you ready? If so, grab your pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. First, we're going to learn five adjectives and then in the second part of the lesson, I'm gonna give you seven expressions. Number one, I've got a British informal adjective, tip-top. It means excellent, perfect, of the very best class or quality. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the company offers tip-top conditions. And one more example, it's a tip-top restaurant if you crave sushi. Number two, top tier. It means the best and the most important. The first example, she's studying at the top tier university. And one more example here, we're working with a top tier clientele. Number three, top notch. It's an informal adjective that means excellent, of the highest quality. For example, they serve top-notch food. And one more example, it's such a top-notch apartment. Number four, a French word, par excellence. This adjective goes after a noun. The first one, Florence, is the cradle of art par excellence. And one more example, Volodymyr Zelensky is the president par excellence. And the last adjective, number five, go to, and it goes before a noun. And it means the best thing, person or place for a particular purpose or need. And now a few examples. The first one, El Dulce Leche is my go-to cafe when I have a craving for milk jam. And one more example, she's my go-to friend when I need someone to cheer me up. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to English Vets if you haven't done it yet and you like my channel. Thank you very much. Number six, second to none. It means better than all others of the same kind. Two examples, the first one, this brownie is second to none. And one more, his kindness is second to none. Number seven, the expression to be a hard or tough act to follow. It means that someone or something has been so successful that it's very difficult for the person or thing coming next to be as good. They have set the bar high. And now let's look at a few examples. The first example, Volodymyr Zelensky showed a great deal of courage and strength. He will be a hard act to follow. And one more example, a Turin is a tough act to follow. I think he is extremely talented and humble. Number eight, can hold a candle to someone or something. It means to not be as good as the person or thing mentioned. The first example, to me, there is nobody who can hold a candle to Taylor Swift when it comes to lyrics. And one more example, I like riding an electric scooter. In my opinion, the humble bicycle can hold a candle to an electric scooter. Number nine, like no other. It means unique, very special, and nothing else compares to it. The first example is about me. 2016 was like no other, because I made lots of trips. I went to Australia. It was my first trip outside of Europe. 
and also to Austria and Switzerland. We can also use this expression to talk about negative experiences. For example, 2022 is like no other for Ukraine because of the war. And one more example here, Rafa Nadal is like no other when it comes to mental strength. Number 10, nothing comes close. For example, nothing comes close to Javier. And one more example, sipping a smoothie while sitting on a beanbag and watching a beautiful sunset with your feet in the sand, nothing comes close. For now, I only have a smoothie. Two more to go, number 11, you can't beat it. Or you can say you can't beat something. The first example, the weather in the Canary Islands, you can't beat it. And one more example here, you can beat sushi and a cup of green tea. And last but not least, I've got one idiom that I really like to be the best thing since sliced bread. We use it to describe something that we think is great, super useful and amazing. For example, these toaster tongues are the best thing since sliced bread. By the way, today it's Mother's Day in Spain and I want to tell my mom, Tamara, that you're like no other and thank you for always being there for me. If you know more synonyms for the best, please let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you learned something new and enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to like it, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday and see you next week with more English. Ciao for now!